you're somebody who has say you're a b-list producer Mm -hmm. but you have like a couple hits here and there and you have a consistent catalog that you've built up yeah i've heard somebody sold their catalog for like 10 million one of the biggest obstacles artists face in the music game is access getting access to the people that can make it happen or access to the information and resources you need to get to the next level that's the key that's why you need two of the biggest in the game on your side introducing J.R. McKee Boom Man welcome to the real industrial plug you heard me alright so let me ask you this because because you just gave me the perfect segue to my next question. Mm-hmm. I'm a I'm, I make music writer, producer, songwriter, whatever the case, artist, whatever the case may be. Mm-hmm. What are the ways I can make money on my publishing that don't involve me being a big streaming artist? Make money on your publishing in the yeah. sense, um, or my on my performance rights. Rich, when well, this. Until the song is registered, it's hard to say. But if the song yeah. is registered, and like I say, you catch one like a Kate Bush where it's synced, yeah, that's a that's a way. If you actually start writing for other people, yeah, that's a way because there are some of our top songwriters could have been artists. Yeah, but I think at some level you got to have something that makes you an artist and something that makes you a songwriter. Yeah, and at some there are some amazing songwriters that if they had something, they would be an artist. They would be an right. amazing artist. There are some songwriters that sing better and rap better than some then, of the right, some of the artists sing. themselves yeah. sometimes it's just not whatever it is not in the cars, cars for them people, it doesn't yeah. work but there are a lot of songwriters that make a lot of money yeah. writing from the perspective of other people yeah and that's the way to do it now without, without getting in people business yeah what are some of these songwriters' checks oh, like? Man, I'm definitely not doing Do you, that. Don't, don't say no names. <laughs> but just tell me like I'm some. I'm definitely not doing You don't have to say no names. But like, tell me is, some of the checks you've seen. Uh, no, not that I've seen. I can't. Uh-uh. I've heard of. I know. You third that. party. You heard. You I, heard that somebody got paid. I could. I could. <laughs> I could tell you this. Yeah. You can buy the market, and you can tell that you have all these large investment firms buying people's publishing. Mm-hmm. And they're buying it at what they call a 10x, 10X yeah. and 20x and all that. That should tell you how much money is in publishing. Because right. if you're somebody who has, say you're a B-list producer, mm-hmm. but you have like a couple hits here and there and you have a consistent catalog that you've built up. Yeah. I've heard somebody sold their catalog for like 10 million. Yeah. And they are not even like a, a big, big producer. household name. Right, right. And they're selling for 10 million. I've heard the big ones have sold for more than that. I mean, look at Irv Gotti, what he did, 100 million? He sold and his catalog for 100 producer. million. Yeah. And he produced stuff. Right. But not only did he produce, he owned the label and that's what adds to it. But like, right. he know what that publishing, he- Right, he know what it looked like. Yeah. yeah. You can see that. Like it's it's people that have hit a certain level and they, they ran it up when they were working that they just love out their publishing. Mm-hmm. And the beauty of publishing is it's the one of those things that you can transfer to people as an asset. Yeah. So if you pass away, you're it a transfer. You can transfer it. So if you look at people who their relatives or their kids run their publishing, run their estate, and then they license the music, yeah. that is what that is because it's an asset that you can transfer over and give to your kids. Got you. Now, has publishing declined since streaming? No, it, I mean, publishing is is just like if you write a book and you're publishing that book. Like, yeah. publishing is always there. It's always it yeah, go it doesn't go anywhere. So yeah, it doesn't go anywhere. So I would think because the radio play has went down. But that's the thing. That's yeah. where a part of that, um, the negotiation that they're doing with different streaming services is coming into effect. Where they just yeah. um, one, I can't even remember the number. I don't want. to mispronounce or well, but they just uh, wrote they raised number, the number they right raised the number because that's publishing yeah and so now all those people who are on those records that's why they went and started slowly putting together like when you click on you see the credits yeah they have a whole writing division now um secret genius all that stuff because they understood that you know songwriters are very important right and so that's why you're starting to see those things raised and getting paid and so now you're going to see streaming yeah. songs call, count for even more right now let me ask you, I got a tough question for you. <laughs> One of the things that I've experienced in my in my long-term career mm-hmm. 
it's easy to sign up for a PRO, but it's very difficult to it's leave. Not, no, it's not. Yes, it, it's not difficult. I've, I've seen artists and writers try to leave and they're like, oh, well, you're signed no, no, into 2028. No, 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 no. You forgot to send in your letter no, not, and now you're signed for the next two years. It's, it's not difficult. I've seen it. If you No, if you're on your business, it's a, Oh, it's you got to be on your business. Why, why do y'all make it so tough it, it's to leave? Not, it's not tough. There's laws. These are laws. Oh, it's laws, the boy. Act, the government. This isn't the PROs. These are the government. These are the actual laws that were created to protect okay. people. So each artist that you, each person or each PRO that you sign up with, yeah, they have their term limits based mm. on the law. So with us, because mm. we're more songwriter producer friendly, right? you only have to stay with us for a year. If you're yeah. not rocking with us, you only, only have to stay with us for it's a year. It's a year. Like, if you're not liking it, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You can but but how, how do I get out? So typically it's six months before your renewal period. Mm -hmm. So if you sign up today, what is it? August, what is it? I think it's the 16th. 16th. Yeah. If I sign up August 16th today, six months from now, if I want to resign, I just need to send in that letter because it's, yeah. it's literally a three month window. That's what I'm trying to say. It's not hard. There's a three month window. Sounded complicated to me to already. send a letter saying... I no longer want to be with y'all. And if I don't and send that months. letter, guess what? I'm signing up for another year. Another year. I'm just an advocate for for making this a little bit easier. When I when I want when I want to cancel something, I should be able to go to the website and say, "Hey guys, I appreciate your service, but I'm going to go ahead and move on." I wish it was. I guess if that's simple, I thought you getting a notification and it telling you exactly, hey, send this letter in, you don't want to be with us no more was pretty easy. Okay. I think that's pretty easy. All right. I I, I, will, I, I just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm rooting for the for, for the next the next generation of PROs I, I to go ahead and make easy. it a little a little more simpler for you to lead. I think it's pretty easy. Because right. some other ones, mind you now, the one PRO is two years and oh. another one is three years. Yeah, go ahead and let so them know. If it's one year, <laughs> we only one year. That's, yeah. That's, that's two and three ASCAP years. is more friendly to you guys. You we, know what I mean? Are, we are very, we are founded by songwriters and producers and that's how we operate. Yeah. We, we are songwriter producer first. Got you. Okay. All right. So Jason, before mm -hmm. we get out of here, we have this incredible segment. Yeah. And it is called Tweet Takes. Okay. And this is where we go to your Twitter. Are you active on Twitter, Jason? Not as like I need to be. I All try. Right. I do. Well, I'm terrible. It's okay. We're going I'm gonna read you one of your tweets, uh -huh. and I'm just gonna give you the opportunity to expand upon it. Okay. You know what I mean? So at Jason Riddick, and then the underscore at the end if you're looking for him. Uh, Riddick is R E D D I C K. Yeah. At Jason Riddick underscore, you tweeted. Uh huh. <clears throat> figure out the so-called rules of the game you're in yeah. and then swiftly proceed to make your own rules and take over with your tribe and get money. Yes. Jason, talk yes. to us. What, so, what did you mean when you tweeted that? Because I think, so my now, like I said, I went to college because my dad said, you need to go to college. Right. And I thought, you know, that was the rules. I thought that was what you were supposed to do. You go to college, you get a job, you make some money, you're good. Yeah. But in reality, that's not how it works. Like, right. there are the rules that you have to be. Like, I've at one time, I remember I wanted to have two jobs. Mm -hmm. I wanted to work here and I wanted to work here. These companies were independent of each other and they were not, they were not a conflict. Yeah, if they weren't anything, competing companies. They weren't competing companies, two different industries in the sense, they were still music, but they were still two different sides of the business. Yeah. And I was told I couldn't. And I'm mm. like, well, why? And I was told, because I said so. And I was like, wait. <laughs> but there's no like precedent. There's nothing. There's no reason. Right. And there isn't. And people will try to impose rules on you to control you in a sense. Right. And I feel like, yo, if you understand what the so-called rules are, and you go create your own, you can go do a lot more than everybody else because right. there are so many people that are so set in the rules of things. Yeah. And before they know it, the people that aren't playing by the rules are winning. Are winning. <laughs> like winning, winning because they're yeah. creating their own rules. I, I love that because this, this is the thing that, you know, I learned and I try to teach like the younger kids. Mm -hmm. it, it, it comes down to legal money. Like yeah. a, a lot of our, a lot of our culture, you know, they're taught, you know, certain ways to get money. Right. And I explain to a lot of people that I know, I'm like, bro, do you know you have the mind to come do it this way? Like you you see on movies, it's only done that way. 
and you're doing great at that. But if you applied that same mind to this over here, you wouldn't have to look over your shoulder. You wouldn't Man. have to worry about police. You wouldn't yes, need sir. bail money. That Man, same that. mind could run a multi-million yeah. dollar company. Yeah. And so I, I treat it the same way. I tell them, learn, learn the rules. They think, they just like, oh, no, that game ain't for us. Bro, learn these rules and then go run it up. Run it up. You know what I mean? Run it up. That, and, and that's the thing, too. It, there's rules and there's laws. Yeah. Hey man, the laws is one thing, but rules are designed by somebody who was trying to control the situation. Yeah. That is not law. Right. A rule is not law. You don't, laws are supposed to be based on moral things and not infringing on people and, and hurting people, murdering people. Yeah. A rule that you can't work in two places because, just because, like, you know, right. there's no trade secrets being shared, none of that. Like, I know so many people that are at different levels that have multiple jobs yeah. because they superseded what the rules, rules were, were. Yeah. and they created their own rules and was like, look, man, you can get it or you don't, right. but this is what I'm going to do. And if not, I'll go find my situation. That's what I mean by find your tribe, because there are people out there that will let you do that. Yeah. And and it's not even let. It's like, I'm going to do it. Either I'm going right. to do it with you, I'm going to go do it over here. Right. I'm going to do it. Right. Well, that's beautiful, man. I, I love that statement. Um. <clears throat> so I gotta go retweet that one. I gotta <laughs> that that one gotta come across my timeline, man. So Jason, before we get out of here, is there yeah. anything you want the people to know? Um, oh, uh, what I want them to know. Well, number one, where can they find you? Uh, it's all the same, Jason Reddick, um, on every platform. Uh, Jason R E D D I C K underscore. Yeah, that's I G and all that. Um, I think just uh, so one one of the things I just really paid attention to lately and mm -hmm. I, I don't i don't think i ever i just took it for granted but being in the right rooms with the high level conversation mm -hmm. because you don't know what you don't know until you're in a space and somebody tells you yeah like i had a really good friend for the years i've been racking my brain about really building something Right. And I would always be like, okay, man, if I could get the money and maybe if I could go get a loan, a grant, all these other things. And one day he just came, we were just talking, chopping it up. And he was like, yo, um, you ever heard about business credit? And I'm like, yeah, but I've been trying to figure out how to get that done. And right. he was like, man, you need to do X, Y, Z. Right. Your personal credit got to be up there. But once you get that, you leverage that to get the business credit. And at that point, that sounds like, so you mean to tell me I can run it up over here on the business side? Yeah. It don't even affect my personal credit. So right. my debt to income ratio doesn't even get affected. And I'm building this company. And so when you hear people be like, yo, I maxed out my credit cards to build a company. They're not talking about their personal credit card. They're talking about the business, business credit, credit card. card. Right. But we don't know that. We you don't know, know that. And that's your point. It's like you have to get into the right you rooms. be in the rooms with the yeah. high level conversation because now... I'm not stressing about going to get a loan or right. going to get a grant. Right. If I do it right, I could get a million dollars in credit. Exactly. <laughs> I already know what to do. Yeah, you got the plan. I got the you plan. You just need the money. I need the money. So get in the right rooms. Get in the right rooms for the high level conversation. Or listen to real industry plugs. <laughs> <laughs> Again, high level conversation. High level, high level conversation. conversation. And, and invest. Because yeah. that's the thing too. A lot of us would be like, yo, I'm not going to that panel or that conference I got to pay right. for. Nah, go to the right. Now, yeah. it, trust me, there's a lot of them brunches and all that that don't yeah. matter. But those ones like South by Southwest, mm -hmm. And different like Revolt Fest, pay for the conference. Go. Right, go, go, go and meet those people. Go and network. It makes a difference. You know, like invest in yourself. Relationships is everything. And even without without having just heard your story over the past hour, I knew when you walked in the room, like I I knew what I loved about you, and it was the way that you're able to move, but via the relationship. Like you know everybody. You're always in the middle of the conversation. And you just broke down in the, in the last hour why that's true. Yeah. And so I hope people were paying attention. I think, you know, if you ever had an intern, you would be a great person to shadow for young people. Oh, like that. To, you would be a great oh, yeah. person to I shadow. Try to, I try to bring in all the interns. That's for me, it's like pull up. Like, yeah, because I, I know what it is to not get opportunities. Yeah. Or to struggle to get somebody to just bring you into the room. So, yeah. like I said, Ray changed my life by telling me just to pull up to L.A. Yeah. Listen, man, I tell people all the time, pull up with me. Like, yeah. oh, we'll figure it out. I'll get you in there. 
and it's amazing how all the successful people in Atlanta are all connected. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like we're sitting here talking about Ray Daniels. Yeah. Ray did his show. Like Ray was Ray was early on in my career. I knew him early yeah. on in your career. Yeah. I was sitting in a studio at Rock City. I, I just left from over there. Yeah. And um <clears throat> and, and what's name? Tim uh, uh Tim how you say it? I just fucked it up. Which one? Tim Tim Timo, 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 I'm sorry, because I didn't I didn't want to fuck up your name. Not to Ryan, <clears throat> but Timo. anyway. He was like, man, he was like, how's life been without the dreads? And I was like, damn, boy, you just threw it way back. I forgot about the dreads because me and him used to be in the studio yeah. every day together. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? This was like uh, almost 12 years ago. Yes. And I'm like, damn, bro, like, yes. it, like the successful people in Atlanta have all been here. Front always. Of, we're the ones who never quit. Yes. And yes. I always tell people that. Yes. The, the ones who are here now are the ones who never quit. That's why we still sit here. Yep. You yes. know what I mean? Keep on. <clears throat> and so he blew my mind. This is this is like an hour ago for I got he blew my mind when he said, I'm like, damn, yes. like I remember them days. Hey man, that's yeah. what it is. That that is why Atlanta is Atlanta. That's right. That's why Atlanta exactly. will never go anywhere. Because the same way you and I have known each other for years, there's new people that's coming and once they start figuring it out, the next generation they yeah. keep going, keep going. That's amazing. Sure. It's an amazing city. All right, well, appreciate you, Jason, for being on the show, man. That's another episode of Real Energy Plugs. Subscribe to the YouTube, man. Download the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, man. Podbean, download the podcast. Spread the word. This is the number one educational platform there is for the music business. You need to know these plugs, man. Tap in, spread the word, man. We'll see y'all next week, man. Jason, oh thank God. you, my brother, you. man. That was amazing, man. Y'all need to get like him, bro. I this is the connector. You.